You know what, Pete? What's going on, Ken? It's no secret that I am cheap. <laughs> well, I'm frugal. All right? There's a difference. Yes. You want a woman to be impressed that you are frugal. You don't want a woman to call you cheap. Oh, no. Yes, that has happened, but that is a different show altogether. Sometimes when you travel on the frugal side, you end up with stories about where you have stayed or what you have seen. That holds true for my trek out to San Diego last week. Let me start with when I left the hotel that I stayed at. Once down the road, the cabbie said to me, if you saw what this place was like 15 years ago, you never would have stayed here. <laughs> they have really fixed this place up. <coughs> I'll give you a few seconds to ponder that. <laughs> I am a seasoned traveler. When I review Yelp and TripAdvisor reviews, I take everything with a grain of salt. Most people only write when they have had bad experiences. Right. And not good experiences. This place had mixed reviews, which is usually a good sign. Mixed reviews. I will also go on the record that I have stayed at five-star resorts, run-down mom-and-pop motor lodges, and everything in between. <laughs> sure, when the room is paid for, I take it, whether it is a Hyatt Regency or a Motel 6. Mm -hmm. When it is my wallet or my company paying for it, I will shop around. I'm of the mind that the hotel room need not be fancy. It is a place to shower and sleep. Mm -hmm. You don't go away to stay in your room. Mm -hmm. This is why when I go to Vegas, I stay at Harrah's and not Aria or the Cosmopolitan. I use the hotel room as a place to flop. That is it. <laughs> Having said that, <laughs> I decided... That instead of spending 170 bucks a plus, uh, 170 bucks plus a night for a hotel downtown San Diego, within walking distance from the convention center, I went ahead and found something taking up residence on less pricey real estate. I tried to find an Econa Lodge, Motel Six, Red Roof, or Super Eight that had quick access to mass transit. But they just didn't exist. Mm. Trust me, I looked. I spent six hours trying to find a cheap place to stay. I mean, an inexpensive place to stay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, cheap. Yeah. <laughs> cheap. The Easy 8 Motel was a 10-minute cab drive from the San Diego <laughs> International Airport. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Far enough away from downtown, but not too far away. I wasn't expecting too much. For 58 bucks a night. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. 58 bucks a night. <laughs> and it was a five-minute walk away from the transit center I will be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the railroad station. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Yes, and I utilized that radio station oh. for the trolley system out there. Oh. After eight and a half hours of travel, <coughs> including airtime and waiting time, I arrived at the Easy 8 Motel. <laughs> <laughs> it was about 11 a.m. No room available. Oh, what? No. I was scolded no. that check-in time. Wait an hour. I was scolded that check-in time was 3 p.m. I have never been to a hotel that would not accommodate you if you arrived early. It happens. I was told to go sit by the pool, and they would get me if something was available earlier. <laughs> there was no cover and no chairs at the pool as they were being cleaned. No. I had two pieces of luggage on wheels with me. I asked where I could put them and was told they didn't have a place and I would have to keep them with me. This wasn't starting off very good. Should have stayed at the airport. <laughs> I sat on a bench outside of the housekeeper's building. <laughs> Luggage next to me. The shade from the California sun I needed was provided by a highway off-ramp above my head. <laughs> I sat there watching things. I quickly figured out people were living here. 
Oh, but geez. people were living. <laughs> oh, no. There were people bringing their bedding to the housekeeping room to be laundered. <laughs> and people were using coin up machines for their own clothing. <clears throat> a scrubber guy. A, a scrub, scrubber guy. Scrubby. Oh. A oh, scrubby guy. Oh, scrubby guy. Walked up to the ashtray near me. And picked out butts with his own hand. Oh, no. I expected him to toss them out. <laughs> but he put them in his shirt pocket, walked over to another ashtray, and did the same thing. He was salvaging whatever tobacco was left in them to roll his own ciggies. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. For a nanny state so involved with the environment, I couldn't get over all the piece of crap cars coming in and out. BMWs, Audis, Caddies, all with broken exhausts, doors held in with bungee cords, and cracked windshields. Then I realized, when you don't have insurance or your car isn't registered, you are exempt from complying with the rules. <laughs> After two hours, some of the immigrant workers started to notice me. <laughs> and by that, I mean they walked past me for two hours before saying, Are you waiting for a room? We will clean one for you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> by 1 p.m., I was checking in. <laughs> two hours before official check-in time, I felt like an outlaw. <laughs> As usual, they have you sign a form upon check-in. The usual stuff every hotel has you sign for. And then came the addendum. No plugging in hair dryers. <sighs> Whiskey, tango, foxtrot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no plug-in hair dryers. <laughs> After seeing the condition of the GFCI outlet by the sink, I understood why. <laughs> <laughs> also prohibited were hooking up video games using curling irons, cooking with a hot plate or propane. <laughs> <laughs> Using microwaves or plugging in anything other than charging devices. Oh, God. Part of me thinks I just didn't want the people living there racking up their electric bill. <laughs> also prohibited were guests after 8 p.m. <laughs> that tells oh, no. me there was a prostitution problem there. <laughs> no. I didn't use the pool. I oh, usually I bet, don't. Please, God, no. I would be afraid But to. I did use the hot tub. Oh, af my worst. A after the unsupervised, out of control, running, screaming, throwing school-age kids who are not in school were done in the pool area. <laughs> <laughs> there was a sign in the pool area. Yeah. Do not use pool if you have diarrhea. Oh, oh, oh stop. No. Oh, or have had diarrhea in the last 14 oh, days. Stop. Oh, what? Oh, no. Wait, 14 days? <laughs> Do they have a problem here that causes dysentery? <laughs> <laughs> I ordered delivery from Pizza Hut one night. Oh, God. I placed the order online. Their system approved the address and accepted my order. Oh, uh -oh. And then the phone call. I wanted to take advantage of the 50% off online order they had been advertising. I got a call back. Uh-oh. Sorry. We do not deliver to Easy 8. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> wow. I was pissed. <laughs> and pissed due to my OCD because I had spent half an hour deciding what to order. <laughs> Thank God I had packed a fifth of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> So I ordered from the preferred pizza shop down the road. Oh. You know, that place that had a menu in every room. After I placed my order, I was told, please wait outside your door in half an hour. You have cash, right? Oh, boy. I'll give you a second or two to digest that. <laughs> the thing is, once I got the pie delivered and took it into my room, it was exactly like true Brooklyn pizza. Really? You lucked you know, out. Pie you just can't get around here. Mm. I was shocked. Mm. It was totally delish. I Wor ate that, I worth, ate that, the, worth the money. I ate that entire some bitch myself in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of negative reviews online were about the noise at this place. Uh oh. The hotel is right next to a freeway. A few ramps. 
and several very active train tracks. To me, those are the sound of the city. After a while, you don't even notice the tra train horn behind your building going off every 15 minutes. Besides, the 19-inch cathode ray television uh, <laughs> TV in my room helped to drown out some of the noise. Oh, God. I just needed to remember to turn it on 10 minutes before I wanted to watch it because it needed a warm-up in order for the <laughs> tuner to work properly. <laughs> oh, yeah, but here, here's the dilly-dill. The coup de grace. The room, while it's extremely basic, was also clean. Really? What? No stains on the bed linen. Oh, jeez. Oh. Did you bring the black light? <laughs> no bed bugs or la cucarachas. <laughs> really? The housekeeping did a great job of making my bed daily, cleaning my room, and keeping me in supply of toilet paper. There was always hot water, and the pressure coming out of the shower head was better than in most other places I stayed. I also think that the woman at check-in may have been on her last day and was copying of, li the of life of life <laughs> <laughs> because you know i never saw her again and all the other women i dealt with at the front office were decent kind and helpful oh you caught him on a bad day i also want to point out that bastard albert hammond lies it does in fact rain in sunny southern california <laughs> <laughs> i've been there when it rains it sprinkled for about half an hour on Friday night, just after I got out of the hot tub. <laughs> this convention I went to has a habit of jumping around from place to place. I've been to it in Denver twice, Indianapolis, Atlanta, Dallas, and a few other places that evade my mind at this moment. They have announced it will be back in San Diego next year. Will I return Ooh. to the Easy 8 next year? <laughs> <laughs> if it saves me a hundred a night, you bet your burritos I will. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. 